Hello, and thank you for watching this regional forecast for the Northeast. I'm Andrew Pritchard, Senior Meteorologist with Nutrient Ag Solutions. Well, temperatures are cooling down to our west, warm and muggy still across the, uh, the northeast. Temperatures at 8 o'clock this morning in the upper 70s in some cases with dew points to match that in the upper 60s and lower 70s. But 50s and 60s, even some 40s across parts of Wisconsin and Michigan, that cooler air will be spreading our direction here as we head through the next couple of days. Looking at the satellite picture here, broken sky across uh, parts of the northeast here. A lot of sunshine, but some cloudiness starting to push in from the west here across parts of Ohio. Uh, or I'm sorry, across parts of western Pennsylvania and western uh, New York from Ohio. And we've got some decaying thunderstorms, a rather intense complex of storms tracked from South Dakota across Iowa into Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio yesterday, what we call a derecho, a rather uh, long-lived, exceptionally strong and widespread wind, uh, damaging wind-producing storm system. Uh, none of that in the Northeast today, although we do have at least a marginal risk for a couple of strong storms from upstate New York through northern portions of New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine. But then as we head into Saturday and Sunday, uh, cooler, less humid air spills into the region, so the thunderstorm threat going to be quite lower. As we look at the total precipitation for forecast here, scattered hit or miss shower and storm activity expected. Much of the heavier precipitation found across southern and eastern portions of Pennsylvania into New Jersey and then up through uh, central New York State, uh, with other areas remaining uh, a little bit on the dry side as we head through the next seven days. We'll look at the upper level pattern here, 500 millibar wind speeds. Here's our little trough that's swinging through right now, just a subtle disturbance in the flow that's going to kick off those scattered storms later on today. As I hit play on this, taking it into the end of the week, though, the jet stream support upper level flow starts to lift north of the prairie. We even bring in a ridge of high pressure as we get to the weekend. That'll help temperatures warm uh, and again, keep thunderstorm activity relatively sparse across the northeast as we head into late week. We're looking at the moisture content within the atmosphere, precipitable water. Again, you see our front sneaking through here Wednesday with drier air just being filtered into the region around that area of high pressure. So again, cooler and drier as we head into the, the middle part of the week with heat slowly returning as we head into the end of the week. The high resolution NAM model precipitation forecast as we head through the day today, again, watching for scattered storms forming in a line here, uh, maybe a broken squall line from parts of upstate New York down through central Pennsylvania as we head into the late afternoon and evening hours and again a few of those storms could produce some gusty winds some large hail and maybe even a tornado or two though damaging winds and hail should be the primary hazards today those thunderstorms will continue to move off to the east and then die out as we head into the overnight hours and that will bring our organized precipitation to an end here for the next several days as we look at a dry wednesday and thursday across the northeast Total precipitation then as we head through the next 24, uh, I'm sorry, the next 60 hours, much more than 24. Again, you see the cluster of storms here expected to erupt as we head through the evening hours today. So it will be hit or miss in nature as that line, that broken line moves from west to east before dying out in the overnight hours. And again, nothing else in the way of organized precipitation between now and Thursday afternoon. So we'll look at the European model. This will take it into the weekend as well. We'll watch for those thunderstorms to erupt along the front during the afternoon hours today. And then as we head into the overnight hours, those storms begin to die out and weaken, uh, bringing in a dry Wednesday, unless you're across far coastal areas here, far eastern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, uh, coastal areas here, Long Island through Massachusetts and uh, Connecticut and Rhode Island. Maybe some showers and storms as we head through the afternoon hours tomorrow, but otherwise uh, looking dry across the northeast region as we head into our Thursday. We'll look a little bit further here uh, with the European Ensemble model, and that'll show us when our next big pattern change is going to arrive. Again, we'll see drier air in the region, leading to mostly dry conditions here, unless you're in far southern portions of the northeast as we head through the middle part and the late part of the week. But then uh, as we get into Saturday and Sunday, we're going to start to bring a front in from the north and from the west, and that's going to in, uh, introduce a renewed chance for some organized precipitation across the northeast as we head into the end of the weekend and early next week, this valid here on Monday afternoon. So between now and Friday evening, the probability of picking up half an inch or more of precipitation. Again, you head well to the south across far, far, far southeastern Pennsylvania into New Jersey. That's where you get better than a 50% chance of that organized uh, measurable precipitation there, a half an inch. But then you head back north across the remainder of the northeast, and it's looking quite dry as we head to the end of the work week. Now, if I take this a bit further, covering the next seven days all the way to Tuesday evening now, we do start to introduce low probabilities of picking up that half an inch here across the rest of the Northeast region, signaling that flip toward at least bringing in a one or two day shot of some storms with that front as we head into the weekend. 
Temperatures as we head through the end of the week into the weekend as well, gonna be a near average but cooler, uh, I'm sorry, near average, but less humid uh, than it has been over the last several days as this front moves through. So it won't drop our temperatures a lot, but it will bring in some drier air where we do see those temperatures falling is as we head into next week with that frontal boundary moving through, looking much cooler as we head into the August 16th through the 20th timeframe across much of the Northeast and central part of uh, the US. So high temperatures today, quite warm in advance of our storm system where we've got that warm and unstable air mass that is setting the stage, the fuel for those thunderstorms to erupt later today, mid nineties, uh, 97 even as you head over towards the coast here in Massachusetts, a hot scorcher across the Northeast today, much cooler tomorrow, dropping it down to the low to mid eighties, cooler still as we head into our Thursday, this is really about where we should be, if not a couple of degrees warmer than average still, but with lower humidity, and compared to those mid 90s today, it will feel drastically cooler as we head into the end of the work week with even cooler air possibly moving in as we head into next week. Have a great day and I will talk to you again on Friday morning.